Good morning, Warriors. We are live from the quarantine zones. Coach Josh, and uh, uh, we are ready to rock this morning. And uh, we've got a, a big workout today. We've got a lot of different exercises to go through, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the story, but I did want to highlight um, uh, two ideas about change. One is evolution, and the other is revolution. And most of the time that we are changing our bodies, it's an evolution, right? We iterate through uh, habits, routines, and processes, and we, we change slowly over time and we evolve. We, um, uh, we, we, we build more muscle, we learn new skills, and it's a, it's a slow process. And um, over the past few weeks, the change for, that we've all been going through has been a revolution which is overnight systems are different. Overnight things are, are turned off and turned on. Overnight uh, you have dramatic change. And revolution is, is scary, of course, because things change and we don't want them to. Things get burned down, things get destroyed, but things also get created. There's also a lot of opportunity in, in revolution for positive change. And Right now, we're all experiencing that very fast-paced change in this revolution that's happening, and we don't really quite know what's going to happen next, and that's, that can be scary, but I don't, wanna, um, I don't want you to miss the opportunity that this is for you to, to, to cr be different, to create different habits, to let go of things that were holding you back in the past. Some people are like, oh, this is great. I'm spending more time with my kids. I'm, I'm cooking and I never was, ever, never was ever able to cook before. And now I could and do this stuff and that's good. And that's, that's a dramatic and overnight change. But don't forget that it takes repetition to, to keep those habits. And, and even though we're going through this revolution, it's still it's gonna take effort and conscious intention to make this into something positive and long lasting and long term for you. But speaking of positive and long lasting and long term, Let's, uh, let's do some training. We're gonna start with some mobility, so we're gonna go through a, a mobility flow with some stretches, and then we're going to do a lot of abs today for our speed strength workout. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, we're gonna do a, a different kind of style of Tabata, which I think you are all gonna like. And um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a blast today. So I'm getting here on my mat, sit up on the floor. I'm in this shin box position. So I'm sitting here, my right knee is forward, my left knee is back, my chest is up, my belly button is gonna be looking out over my lead knee. So I'm looking out over my right knee at this point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay as upright as possible, so I'm gonna try and stay vertical. And I'm going to, help myself, lift up that leg on, on the other side, lock out that quad, and I'm gonna bring that foot around front, trying not to lean out trying not to move away from my hips. Then I'm gonna bring, bring it back and set it back. And that's one repetition. And I'm gonna do it again. And then if you need to prop off the floor, that's totally fine. But you're gonna lift that leg up off the, off the ground, lock out that quad, pull that foot, the, that, that foot in front of you, not touch the ground, coming all the way back and setting it on the ground. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Lift, that's right Bob, I know it's fun, I know you like it. Getting that mobility in, whoo, boom. All right, so once you're there, you're gonna flip, you're gonna keep your feet in the same spot and you're just gonna slide your knees to the other side. Now I'm internally rotating one hip, externally rotating the other, belly button pushing through, leading on that lead left knee. Then I'm gonna take that outside leg, lifting it up, locking it out rotating out, all the way back, setting it down. Again, if you need to prop or hold onto your foot, you can, but we, we want you to not touch the ground so you can let that hip do all the work of flexing, extending, internally and externally rotating. We're gonna do one more time, so three times on each side. Yeah. Coming back, awesome. From there, we're gonna roll into a frog stretch. So I'm taking my knees as far apart as I can, toes pointed out. I'm gonna drop into the ground 
I'm gonna squeeze the earth with my knees. So I'm squeezing for five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm gonna let my knees relax a little bit, get a little bit further apart, sit back into that frog stretch, feel the tension in the groin, take a big breath through my nose, into my belly, squeeze the earth again for five, four, I'm squeezing, two, one, and relax, ah yes. Let that groin flex and relax. Now I'm gonna come out of that frog stretch by squeezing the knees towards each other. As I stand up, I get into all fours. So I'm here in that four point position and I'm gonna get into the plank and I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna kick it underneath me and I'm gonna do this pigeon stretch by taking this high hip and dropping it down towards the ground. So if you're very mobile and flexible, that's awesome. You're probably doing better than I am, but right now this is a big stretch for me. So I'm gonna hold it here and breathe for five breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm breathing. I've got two more breaths. My back leg is straight as you can see. I'm really feeling that stretch in that lead hip. Whew. Taking that high hip, pushing it to the floor. One more breath. And I'm gonna switch. Again, the back leg stays straight. Locking it out as best I can. Taking that high hip, pushing it to the earth. Five breaths. Three more breaths. So this is a this side is more challenging for me to stay in that stretch. If it's more tight, dropping that hip down. Whew. One more breath. We're coming up back into the four point. So I'm here, I'm gonna do some cat to cows. So I'm gonna inhale and look up. Exhale, I'm gonna tuck my chin in my chest, push through the pinkies, round out that upper back, really let that spine crease. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. We'll do one more. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Whew. That snap, crackle, pop in the upper back. So from there, we're going to go to the uh, hip hydrant. So I'm here and I'm gonna lift my hip up, or my knee up, to the same height as my hip. I'm gonna hold it for a split second, and then I come back down. Both of my arms are locked out. Lift and hold, we're gonna do five reps on the left. Lift and hold. Make sure you're getting that knee still bent to 90 degrees. We do one more, and then we're going to go from there to circles. So I'm drawing a big circle with my knee from the front to the back. Do five reps here for me. Three, four, five. Then you're gonna reverse it back to front. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now my right knee will be up, same height as my hip, back down. Five reps, two more. Again, I don't want my elbows to bend. So we're here, and now I'm gonna do circles from the front to the back. Oh, 
five circles forward, five circles backwards. Both elbows locked. You might feel this in your glutes. You might feel this in your groin. You might feel this in your abs. Woohoo! You might feel it in all of the above. <sighs> okay. So now we're gonna do some neck and shoulder stuff here. So I'm on my knees, I'm pushing my knees apart, trying to spread my carpet or my mat apart. Glutes are on, punching my fists out, thumbs back, I'm rotating. So I'm keeping the elbows locked. So the movement comes from the shoulder, shoulder blades. It's gonna do small circles, thumbs pointing back, elbows locked out. Then I'm gonna rotate the other way. Again, my knuckles are pushing out away from my body, trying to spread the walls apart, trying to push the walls apart. And that's really gonna help stretch out the bicep, tricep, and get that scapula moving. Now, we're gonna take our hands down, thumbs still pointing out, we're gonna draw circles with our chin. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw an invisible circle, and I'm slowly gonna make it bigger and bigger. Now, choose your own adventure. My neck is very stiff, so it doesn't take much to stretch. Don't force it, you just wanna allow that chin to go as far as you can to get as much as you can. And then back, we're gonna do counterclockwise and clockwise. Yeah, all right, excellent. Now I'll do some more fun stuff. So we're gonna do a little downward dog, upward dog and some stretches here. So I'm gonna be up in the plank and then I'm gonna kick my butt back into the air and uh, my elbows are tucked in. I'm gonna pedal my heels to the floor. And then I'm gonna do a little dive bomb. Inhale, look up at the sky. Big breath, exhale, go back the way you came. Pedal the feet again. Then I'm going to inhale, dive bomb push up, breathe, exhale, come back the way you came. And then I'm going to come back into the high plank. Whew. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're going to do a little uh, T-spine exercise here couple of them. This one's the archer. So if you have a pillow or a mat, that's great. You can put it under your head, but if you don't have anything, it works just as well. It's going to be on, on your side, stacking your knees over one another. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to pull the bowstring back and I'm going to follow my hand with my eyes. So I'm going to watch it as I reach back. Exhale, come back the way I came. Inhale, my knees are gonna stay stacked. So if you're seeing your, your knee try to draw back with you, a lot of times that high knee will come backwards with you as you roll. You don't want that because you're just trying to use your upper back, not your hips, not your low back. We're gonna do two more. <sighs> Exhale on the way back. Inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going to come to the other side. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. So we're doing this exercise to rotate the thoracic spine. That's the area between your neck and your waist. That's a lot of area and it needs to move. In fact, it's a very, it's a very mobile part of your spine but we don't often get to use it. We don't often get to do these fun mobility drills. So 
especially without the work that we're all doing indoors uh, for most of us. It's just something we don't get to do. We're going to do one more. All right. Now that we've loosened up a little bit, we're going to try the bretzel, which stretches everything. It stretches the hip flexors, stretches the T-spine, the it stretches your glutes. So I'm going to be on my right shoulder to begin the bretzel. And my left leg is going to be, my left knee is going to come up towards my chest. I'm going to grab my left leg with my right hand. And then I'm going to grab my right foot with my left hand. So I'm literally turning into a pretzel here. And once I'm in this position of both of my hands and a leg in each hand, I'm going to drop my left shoulder to the floor and maximize that stretch. Oh, yeah. Woo -wee. So I'm here and I'm really opening up that hip, pulling through, oh, both hands, trying to touch the shoulder with that high, or trying to touch the ground with that high shoulder. So I'm trying to put my left shoulder on the floor. I can't do it, but somebody flexible like uh, maybe Bob or Heather can. Woo -wee. All right, we're going to take two more big breaths. Make sure to relax your face when you're stretching because your, your body's taking cues from your emotions. So if you have that pain emotion, body's going to tense up. If you have the laughter emotion, like I, uh, I try to have, then your body's going to relax a little bit more. So give yourself that opportunity. One more breath. Exhale. Whew. All right. So we're going to go to the other side now. Oh. So you're on your left hip, left shoulder, and then you're going to take your left leg, put it in your right hand. I'm going to grip the uh, right leg of my left hand. Now that I'm all set up, I'm going to drop in. Oh yeah. So you're breathing. Long, slow exhale. Relaxing that body. <sighs> Two more breaths. And then on your final exhale, you're going to relax, let go of your body. Oh, yeah, so much fun stuff. All right, now we're going to do some standing exercises and we're going to do some shoulder drills. So uh, the uh, eye, if you're looking at me straight on, I'm going to be reaching overhead with my palms facing down. My, my biceps are going to be next to my ears. But fr from the side, I'm just going to be here, hands next to my side, reaching back overhead. So we're going to go back and forth in this bent position, but way back, chest way forward. I'm almost like an L. And I'm going to go palms to the ceiling here, back of the hand to the ceiling here. I'm going to go back and forth, working on that shoulder shoulder health here. One more rep. Now we're going to go into a, a Y. So I'm going to be in that same position, but instead of coming directly overhead, I'm going to come out to a 45 degree. So I'm going to be touching my knee out to 45 degree. So I'm reaching out, coming back in, out, in, and we're getting the middle trapezius, the trap Trapezius two muscle fibers. And those little muscle fibers don't get stimulated much, so we need to give them some love. That really helps our posture, shoulder health, relax that pec minor. Now we're going to go into the W in the same position here. The elbows, if you look at me, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a roadkill here. Elbows and wrists are going to come back towards the ceiling. So I'm going to be here. 
We're going to do a few reps. Five reps of each is my target here. Squeezing the shoulder blades together on the way up. Wrists come to the ceiling, come back down. And then finally the T, all the way out, all the way in. Five reps. Long arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top. Bam. All right, now we're getting warmer. We're going to do a deep squat with a hamstring bias. So what that means is we're going to, feet are going to be shoulder width apart. I'm going to squat down. I'm going to grab the inside of my shoe. Chest is going to be up. I'm going to inhale, reach up to the sky, fall on the hand with the eyes. Inhale, reach up to the sky. And then on the third rep, I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest. And then I'm going to exhale and stand up. Keeping a hold of those feet. So that's one. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, chin to chest. That's two reps. We're going to go five. So I'm reaching overhead, following the hand with the eyes, inhaling as I do it. And I exhale as I stand up. Inhale, reach. Inhale, reach. Exhale, stand up. Yeah. And then I'm going to breathe out again. Oh, for my fifth rep. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hips. Legs, back, everything should be warmed up now. So we're going to do a, uh, a walk around lunge with T-spine rotation. So I'm gonna get into my double wide stance and I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna take both my hands, place them on the inside of my foot. I'm gonna walk all the way around to, my, to out front. So I'm gonna plank and then I'm gonna come all the way back to the other foot. I'm gonna reach up to the sky, come back down. So we're gonna go back and forth through that. Using the abs, arms, back, groin, hamstrings, everything. Yes, so much good stuff. One stop shopping. We're gonna go three times, or sorry, five times, out and back to both sides. Three. This is a great way to start the day. Whatever you do after this, you're going to feel like a million bucks. It's going to be so easy. All the way back. And then that, that was the last rep. Whew. Now. We are going to do some fun stuff. We're going to do some Tabatas. Now Tabata, to remind you, is a work-rest ratio in its essence. It's just a, uh, a set of time that you're going to work and a set of time that you're going to rest. Today, we're going to do Tabatas with four different exercises, meaning our first set's going to be mountain climbers, push-ups, sit-outs, and sprinter crunches. And we're going to roll through that with 10 seconds of rest in between each one. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of mountain climbers, 10 seconds of transition, 20 seconds of push-ups, 10 seconds of transition. I'll be doing it and narrating it with you, but do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this tra traditional mountain climber. So I'm here, and I'm pulling my, I'm in a plank, pulling my knee to my elbow. I'm gonna be going fast if I can manage it. I'll do that for 20 seconds. So it's not for a number of reps. That's just how long we're going to do it. Then we'll transition into the push-up. And the perfect push-up is feet together. You're going to twist your shoulders into your rib cage as you pull yourself into the ground and explode up. Pull yourself into the ground, explode up. Pull yourself into the ground, explode up. You'll do 20 seconds of push-ups. Then you have 10 seconds to transition into the sit-out. And the sit-out, I'm here in all fours. 
pivoting out to the outside with my outside leg. So my weight's set here now. I'm gonna kick this hip through. I'll come back to the beginning, pivot to the other side, kick through. So I'm rolling back and forth for 20 seconds. And then I'm, I'll end on a sprinter crunch. So I'll be here on the ground, kick forward. My left foot will come in and my left elbow will come back just like I'm doing a sprint or a sprinter arm. Drop through, drop through. So we'll do that for 20 seconds. And then we're gonna go back to the top. So we'll go two times through. So again, it'll be only four minutes, but we're gonna fly through that, the, that series of uh, exercises twice. So you'll have 10 seconds to, to rest between each exercise, and then we'll have a little bit of time before the next Tabata. So it's gonna be lickety split. Yeah. So um, while, you're, while you're looking at this at home, uh, I wouldn't make it any more difficult. So even if you have weights, I wouldn't use them. But make sure you're doing quality push-ups. So if you have a band of support, you need that. Or if you're doing a, a full push-up off of a couch, I would just have my couch or countertop here have the exact same technique, but I would elevate, uh, elevate yourself on a countertop or a couch so that you're able to work the entire time. And uh, there's ways to make it more difficult or less difficult, but uh, we just don't want to do kneeling push-ups because then you're not getting the same core activation, squeezing the shoes together, getting the adductors going. All right, that's enough explanation on the push-up. We're going to get started on our Tabata. So we're going to go mountain climber, push-up, sit-out, and sprinter crunch, starting with the mountain climbers in three, Two, one, and we're off. So we're doing mountain climbers, and we're going. Hips should be at the same height as the shoulder. They shouldn't be way up in the air. Your shoulders should be just past your wrist, just a little bit. You're moving quickly. Knees going to the same side, elbow, and switch. Now, from here, we're going right into the push-up. I don't care about how many push-ups you get. I want to see only the good reps. So if you're doing them from an elevated service, whatever, make them look good. And we're moving. Quality push-ups. Squeezing those shoes together. Squeezing those glutes. Everything is a unit. It's a plank where you get to train your arms and your upper back as well. It's all kinds of fun stuff happening because of the push-up. Push-up's one of my favorite drills. I love a push-up. Sit-outs. All right, this is an oldie but a goodie. A little wrestling technique. We're trying to get somebody off your back. Pivot to the outside with that foot foot. Drop, drop the hip to the ground, come back. Pivot to the outside. Don't stop the rock. You're just gonna keep moving. Again, keeping those hands and knees close together, or hands and feet close together. Rolling through and switch. So we're going from the sit out to the sprinter crunch. So you're on your back. Same side, left arm, left elbow come back. Right arm, right elbow come back. Shoulders touch the ground. Transition to the next side. Same technique as a sprint. This is just an ab drill. Fingers are open. Elbows are bent to 90 degrees. We're back to the mountain climber now. So, in that high plank position, push it through the pinkies. Same side. Rolling. Making it look good. Okay, if you're starting to feel a little bit of fatigue, that's good. It'll be over quick though, it's so fast. Just a few more seconds. Almost done. Boom. From here, we're going into the push-up. Again, only the good reps. If you need to modify, if you need to take a break, take a break, but don't do the, save the crappy reps for your other coach. Only the good reps for Coach Josh. Woo! All right, remember, it's not about getting through the training. You can get through it, it's what are you gonna get from it? Get from the training. Keep pushing. Woo-hoo! My heart rate's up, that's for sure. 
We're going into the sit out now. So I'm on all fours, pivoting my toes to the outside. I'm going to drop the hip, keeping that hand inside. I'm not bull riding. I don't want to be the cowboy or cowgirl waving my hat in the air. Stay tight, stay precise. Going through, making it look good. Sprinter crunch. All right, last set. Best set indeed. All right, we're rolling. You only have 10 more seconds to get as many in. Same side foot is the same as the elbow that comes back. So you're moving together in unison. Ha! Whew! Get some water. If you haven't been drinking water, you're wrong. <sighs> While you're getting your water break, I'm going to show you the next couple exercises. So now that we've got our heart rates up, warriors, squats. This is our homework for this month. So you should all know exactly what we're doing here. Toes out. If you have weights at home and you want to hold on to them, you're a warrior. Awesome. I'm going to do mind body weight today so I can get through it with good technique. Heels about shoulder width apart, toes 20 degrees out. I'm dropping down, pressure on the outside of the foot driving my glutes forward. My hands are going to be inside. Elbows are going to touch the inside of the thigh, halfway between the knee and the groin. That's a little tip that I'm vertical enough. Prisoner lunge. So from the squat, we're going to go into the prisoner lunge. So I'm going to have my hands behind my head, elbows back. I'm going to drop down into a reverse lunge and switch. Almost touch the ground, but not quite. If you haven't been doing lunges for a while and you need a reminder, the easiest thing in the world to do is to put a pillow down on the ground in your living room. Then you're gonna take a step across the pillow, touch the pillow with your knee. That's how you know you're getting a deep enough lunge. So use that as a little reminder trick. The last two exercises are speed lunges to the outside. So I'm going to pop out, I'm going to pop right back in. So I'm doing a right lunge all the way out. And then that's for 20 seconds. Then I'm going to do the left lunge for 20 seconds all the way out. And we're going to go through that two times. So we're going to do squats, lunges, left lunge, right lunge. And it's, yes, it's going to add up, but it's going to be so much fun. All right, we're starting in three, two, we're going. So I'm squatting now. We're going to go for 20 seconds. It's not about reps. It's about time. So I want to see the quality. Keep that chest up. Keep that core braced. Rib cage down. Squeezing those glutes. Feet wider, Bob. Now, the prisoner lunge. Again, make sure it's tight, right? I want to see that knee almost touch the ground. Coming back, alternating, left and your right. Use that pillow on the floor if you have to, that's no problem. We're gonna kick through it. Getting after it. Three, two, one. All right, now we're doing lunges on the, on the right first. So we're gonna kick out to our right side, starting in three, two, boom. Coming back, coming back, nice and fast. I don't want to spend all day here. It's not for mobility, it's for strength and speed strength, increasing the rate of motor unit recruitment, increasing the speed at which we have access to the muscle. Now I'm doing it to the other side. Oh wait, 10 seconds of rest, too excited. I got too excited, gotta get my rest. Okay, now other side. Boom. 
Boom. Nice, tight, down. Get that hip down when you get out there, Bob. I wanna see that stretch. Nice, Heather, leading by example as always. Sarah, looking flexible, I like it. Very good. Now, we're back at the top again. This is our, our second run through. We're at the squat, one more time. Firing it out, driving those hips forward. You're trying to crack a walnut in those butt cheeks. You wanna get as much action as you can out of those glutes. Go, go, gadget squat. Squeezing and nice. So from there, we're going right into the lunge. This is everyone's favorite. Prisoner lunge, we're gonna work that upper back, elbows back. Alternating left and the right. Nice vertical position. I'm, not, I'm leaning forward, but not that far forward. So notice I have a gentle forward lean. Elbows back. All right. Lunging to the right and then the left. So we're starting our right lunge in three, two, one, out. Keeping that chest up again. Popping out, popping in. Six seconds left. Make all your reps count. All the reps should be good reps. Other side. We're rolling in five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Excellent. Nice work. Getting that strength going on. Recruiting that lead leg, stretching that trail leg. And scene. Oh yeah. All right, it's time for the core finisher. So we're gonna have four core exercises and we're gonna go through them in rapid succession, just like we did last time. So the four exercises that we're gonna do are the knee grab, the alt leg V up, the toe touch, and the flutter kick. Now, these are all from the back and these are, all, these are gonna blast those abs. So make sure you get a little drink of water because you're gonna need it because this is, gonna, this is gonna really test your intestinal fortitude. So the exercises are the knee grab. I'm here, I'm grabbing my shins, shoulders over the hips, back down, shoulders touch, the, touch to the ground. My head doesn't need to hit the ground, just the shoulders. So as soon as you feel that shoulder blade, you're good. Alt leg V up. Here, I'm on the ground. I just wanna get the shoulder blades off the ground and touch those shoelaces. Keeping that leg locked, stretching that hamstring. The toe touch, I'm here, up out. I'm reaching through my shoelaces. Zah! It's hard, I can touch them sometimes, but you have to make effort. The key is, the knees need to not come towards you. They need to stay at 90 degrees or better, so you have to reach out to get those toes. So, that's the toe touch. The flutter kick is a tricky one. We're here, and you're, you're, fit, you're gonna make a, a, a fist underneath your tailbone. Now that's gonna tilt your pelvis gently. And what you're gonna do is, you're going to kick just for 20 seconds. The key here is staying focused on posture and not letting that low back arch, keeping that tailbone rounded with the help of your hands and your abs. You're gonna feel that, you'll feel that a lot everywhere. Don't you worry about that. So, we're starting the knee grabs in about 10 seconds. So, get back on, your, on the ground. We're going in eight, seven, six, five, fists at the chest, throwing them, the whole body's involved and go. So pitching, use, using momentum, but again, I can only throw the hands from the chest. So I'm not doing anything else with them. I'm not letting them come overhead or anything like that. 
So I'm rolling through, pushing through, and I'm gonna go, and now we're gonna switch to the alt leg V up. So now I'm gonna lie down. Now my hands will be overhead. My legs will be locked, and I'm gonna alternate one at a time, and go. So I'm kicking. And I'm trying to touch those shoelaces with that leg locked. <laughs> wow. This is excellent. Okay. So from there, we're going to go to the toe touch. So we're doing a 90 degree angle, and then the feet are going to be out away from the body. And go. I'm reaching, I'm reaching, reaching. Reaching. Again, can't pull the knees in to me. Have to keep reaching. I may not touch my toes, but I'm gonna keep reaching. Three, two. All right, now we're doing the flutter kick. So you're making a fist underneath your hips, reaching your hands underneath your butt to help you tilt that pelvis. And we're going. We used to spend a lot of time in this position when I was in the army. This is how we would wait in line. We would, we would listen to lectures like this. We would just sit here and enjoy ourselves and relax, calm as Hindu cows. Now, we're back to the V-grab. Hands to the chest. Throwing the hands forward. Now, whole body action. Again, the head doesn't need to touch the ground. This is a power exercise. Using the whole body, it allows you to be fast. Anytime you have speed, you have the potential for power. We're still rolling. Now we're back to the alt leg via. This is the last round, this is the last set. So this is where you're going to use up all your good reps, all the energy, and go. Keeping those legs locked. Be it strong. Reaching out, touching those toes. Stretching overhead. Stretch out that chest and lap. Moving that body. All right, the toe touch. So we're at a 90 degree. 90 degree with the hips, 90 degree with the knee. Everything's reaching out. I'm reaching. If you can get to your toes, that's great. You're amazing. But don't quit. Just don't quit. Give me another rep. Just another couple of reps. Just a few more seconds. Almost toe. Almost to the end. Yes. Flutter kicks. Last set. So, getting those feet up in the air. We're moving. Tucking that chin to your chest. Pointing the toes. Only a few more seconds now. And it's time for bacon and eggs. Or tofu and grits or whatever vegans eat for breakfast. Uh, Beyond meat sausage. Yes. Ha. Ha ha. All right. Now, you might have noticed a couple of, uh, a couple of, uh, abdominal muscles are firing there. We pretty much used every muscle and every range of motion. Grab some water because you still got to do your homework. Homework is selected for a couple of reasons. We are in quarantine conditions. So squats are here to help us burn calories. So your homework begins with 20 squats. So when you're ready, you'll bang out your 20. Squat uses almost every muscle in the body. Uses the abs, uses the quads, powerful quads. It's a knee dominant exercise, meaning the anterior chain of the uh, leg of the lower body, that's usually what we're firing here, but we also work our glutes, our hamstrings. If you're using a weight, you're using your arms, Shoulders, squats are highly predictive of overall athletic ability and strength. 
So we want to use up some calories, get the heart rate going, get that human growth hormone kicking on, producing some testosterone. So we're gonna use our big legs muscles. 20 reps of those squats. Then we're gonna do 10 knee grabs. Knee grab, gotta do some core training. This daily dose, we'll do 10 reps together. Just here to, to finish off your core and you do your homework every day, regardless of what day it is. 10 reps on the knee grab. When you're done with your knee grabs, you're gonna roll over and then you're gonna do 20 swimmers. And the swimmer is basically the perfect postural uh, exercise for our current situation because it forces us to use the uh, thoracolumbar fascia, the QL, the uh, rhomboids, the upper back. You're here, eyes looking 12 inches in front of you. You're reaching out, pulling in, reaching out, pulling in, and that perfect back extension, sort of like a Pilates yoga-esque maneuver here, but letting the shoulders drift up towards the ears and away from the ears on the way back down. So I'm still moving. Everything is involved. Extremely holistic. Really good for the shoulders and back. We're gonna do 20 of those together. I got 10 more. I don't know how many you have. I think Bob has 20 more. So keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ha, 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 ha. Haha. All right. And that is how we hit a total body mobility and a total body speed strength day in quarantine like conditions. So, taking advantage of this revolution to instill some new systems in your life new systems of self care, new systems of health. You're, we're shaking this thing to the very foundations. So, it's a great time. It's a great time to evaluate how you do things, why you do things, what you're putting together for yourself. And um, this uh, revolution that we're going through is gonna have a lot of positive effects in the end when we get to it, whenever that end is. Coach Josh, training for Warriors Portland, helping you bring forth the warrior within. Lemon, I am. Lemon, I am. Lemon, I am.